Hey guys, due to some comments in my first macOS High Sierra beta review, I'd like to go over some things that I said and maybe clear some things up that might have been misconstrued. So I've been using Mac for about 12 years now. These computers from Apple have obviously changed significantly since then, and so has the OS. Quite frankly, every year, including this one, it has all been for the better. My disappointment so far with the macOS High Sierra beta actually stems from the iOS 11 beta. My reasoning lies in the improvements that were said to be present in both operating systems, but I'm only currently experiencing in one, and that is iOS. The two biggest points of improvement from Apple in both iOS and macOS was that the devices would learn or adapt to your style of use and give you the most performance that it possibly could when you needed it. They also claim that the APFS file system on macOS would speed up the computer and everything would run a lot faster, including Final Cut Pro. And just because I didn't see that immediately as the APFS file system was already in place, I was just a little bit disappointed. The reason I was so harsh on the first beta of macOS was due to the fact that I saw significant improvements in the speed in iOS beta 1. I was actually experiencing a boost in speeds despite losing some battery life, which I guess is normal in betas. In macOS, at the time, I just wasn't seeing any improvements at all. Now fast forwarding to today on beta 2, there is so many improvements to the beta and I can assuredly say that I was way too harsh. Now I'm seeing some improvements with speed in transferring files, and I'm finally seeing some improvements when using programs dependent upon disk speed. I'm seeing improvements in the adaptation of the graphics card to my specific uses of my computer as well. These improvements can be seen in Final Cut Pro, Adobe Photoshop, and in some other graphics intensive applications. I do however think that some more features could be brought to High Sierra, as most of the features presented by Apple such as VR support and eGPU support were really just starting points and will need refinement for years until they become fully functional features in macOS. What I'm trying to bring across to you guys is that I am a supporter of Apple and that in my last review, I was just a little bit disappointed that some specific features that could be added to macOS weren't done so this year. I will try my best to remain unbiased and stick to the facts in future reviews and if any of you have any issues with what I'm saying, I would definitely love to speak to you about it in the comment section down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you get subscribed before you leave as we have some unboxings coming up, which are super exciting. That's all for today, but until we see you in our next video, we hope you all have an awesome day.